Coach, share your thoughts on last night's match with us, if you could. I thought it was a, I thought it was a valiant effort from the boys. Um, we, we, uh, you know, we we got over the hurdle of conceding a penalty. Jeff makes a, a really, really good save, um, and I felt like we had one or two chances in the first half. And being honest with you, you know, we we as staff had a discussion at half time. You know, do we stick or do we twist? And we gambled. We we changed the shape because we felt like if we rolled the dice, we could really hurt them down one particular side. Um, and the boys did really well to get us in front and then respond again after being drawn level to get us in front again. Um, and it was, you know, it was just a case of probably a little bit of naivety um, in terms of, you know, trying to defend too deeply and trying to defend the lead. I felt like we should have gone and got the third. Um, and we ran out of legs towards the end, if I'm being honest. You know, it was a real big effort from everybody. Uh, and it was just one of those games, of, you know, credit to the opposition. They, you know, they, they did really well to, to break us down and the winning goal was a great goal, tough to take. Um, and, you know, we take our first loss of the season, which we always knew was going to come at, at some stage. And now it's how we react from that and, and how we now attack the game against Loudon on Saturday. You mentioned Jeff Caldwell and he was huge through the first 70 minutes or so, saving the penalty and couple of other big saves. What were your thoughts on the way he played last night? Yeah, he was huge for the whole game. The whole game. I, I, I think, you know, I've heard a couple of comments about the second goal. I think he makes the right decision to come for that. And, I, you know, I'll back, back my goalkeeper to come for that. I think the other players have got to get out of his way. He makes a massive save. The penalty save is superb because it's not like it's rolled into the corner. He flashes it into the corner. Uh, he makes some, you know, some really big saves. And, you know, Jeff, we think Jeff's the best goalkeeper in the division. We're really lucky to have him, so I thought he was faultless for the entire game. You get asked a lot of questions about Danny Barrera, and rightfully so. You know, he's through. Uh, he's now got four goals and five assists this year. His assists are leading the league. Um, what are your thoughts on his play, not only last night but just this season as a whole? Yeah, he's started really well, hasn't he? And, and I think the thing is with Danny is Danny's just got this habit of turning up. You know, when you need him, he pops up with a goal, pops up with a moment. Um, you know, yesterday at half time we had the conversation, me and him about, you know, where he needs to be on the pitch and, and he had to tweak his game tactically and straight away pops up, right position, right time, wonderful finish again. There's no one else on the pitch that scores that goal from either side. Really clever, you know, squeezes it through off of both posts and he started really well. We need Danny. We need Danny to continue in this form and to continue to lead by example on the pitch. From an injury perspective, um, Luca Perp has been out for a couple of weeks with a foot injury. Gabby Torres missed last week with a hand injury. Um, Sebastian also missed last week, and, and Bradford Jameson came off in the middle of the game with a hamstring injury. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of guys to go down. You have a quick turnaround this week. How do you feel about the health of the squad as we head into the next match? Yeah, we, we've got to manage it. Um, and, you know, my staff, are, you know, we're you know, they're the best at what they do, and they'll manage it correctly. Bradford, we need to we need to look at it and assess it after it's calmed down because it was a hamstring. Um, Saber and Gabby, we're hopeful will be back this week after assessment, which is really good. Plus, Warmer Martinez coming back in off of international duty as well, so that you know that really bolsters it up. So, you know, we're being cautious and careful, but we're hopeful that we get those boys back sooner rather than later. After five matches now, the boys are three one and one. Where do you see yourself in comparison to the rest of the Atlantic Division? Listen, I think it's a tough league. Um, you know, we've played we've played the you know five games. I've seen you know I've seen real positive signs in the group. You know, we scored the most goals in the division. Um, playing playing five games, I think us and and Charleston have played four and five. The rest of the teams have played six, seven, eight, and some teams have played more. We can score goals. We're dangerous. I want us to take the ball more. I want us to dominate that more, and I want us to defend better. Um, I think that. Again, I'll keep saying it's a young group and it's a young group that's learning. Yesterday's a loss, but yesterday's also a lesson for us. And it's a lesson in how to see a game out correctly and not to sit back, but to go forwards and see the game out by killing it off and scoring another goal.